So routers take your private or the public IP address that your uh, ISP gives you, like Comcast or AT&T, and disguises it on a private network. So you can have as many or up to 254 computers on a single network or a router. So how does it do that? Well, you, you can do it through a wired portion where on the back of uh, any wireless router or switch, there's a switch, switching portion, which basically just connects all the computers on a single network. Uh, and without the LAN port or without the internet port, let's say, being connected, it will actually act as just a network hub where you plug things in and out and then those computers on the network can talk to each other. So that's how you connect two, two or up to 254 potential computers up on a single network through a router wired. Wirelessly, you just need to enable that uh, when you run the initial CD setup from D-Link or Netgear or Cisco or, or Linksys, whatever. Uh, whatever router that you buy that'll come with a CD that'll step you through how to enable that. And again, you can set up up to 254 uh, computers on that wireless route, uh, on that wireless network. So that's very simple um, thing to do. When you set up the router, it will already be set up for up to 254, usually up to 254 uh, computers at one time.